You didn't need a knife. It neither. Oh, she got it. You found it already. Not sure if you can see them, but there's three eagles flying over the house right now. Three of them. Little dots. Now looking for my chickens, I'm pretty sure. No, nope, not today, guys. Uh, tomorrow doesn't look good either. Go somewhere else. Jeez Louise. Tactical maneuvers going on. Oh, man. Not eagles. They're coming down lower. You can see them really good now. Oh, man. Yeah. Keep going. Bad guys. Chicken bad guys. Whew. It is chilly out here today. It's 33 degrees, frost, uh, ice on the truck. I mean, when I went to open the door, it actually hesitated because it was like frozen. Um, just saw, I just showed you guys a bunch of hawks. Oh, there they are. They're back. There was three of them and they flew off and now they're back. Hopefully they take off. We're losing leaves on the trees. It's getting louder, but it's still pretty beautiful. Pretty nice day. The chickens are all hunkered down past Katie's little swing set and trampoline and stuff. They're kind of taking cover over there because of the, because of the uh, eagles. And we've had some uh, ravens come through. I'm not sure ravens, crows, I don't know, they were pretty big blackbirds. I don't know if uh, eagles don't like them. I know hawks don't, and they usually run them off, but they came flying through pretty low when the hawks, the eagles were up here. I keep saying hawks, because usually we have hawks. I don't think I've seen three eagles in quite a while uh, together, but I'm sure they're hungry. Looking for some birdie num nums. I told them not today. They can't have any chickens today and none tomorrow either. So they might as well move on. Go find something else. There's plenty of mice in the world. So yeah, we're slowly getting ready for winter. We've got just a few things on the deck to get off. I mean, the barbecue stays, the smoker is going to go in, the flat top's going to go in. Uh, we've got extra wood on the deck covered up that we had left on the ground. Um, and we've got, we're gonna, we cleaned off our pad over here and we're gonna move our fire pit down a little bit and we're gonna add our maple syrup stove uh, to boil sap down um, for next spring. We're gonna get it all set there. Last time we used it, we set it up on the driveway in a dry spot. But once we got the stove going and cranking really good, it gets really hot. So it's something to think about if you're gonna do, uh, you know, cook your sap down is it will get so hot, it'll thaw out your ground and get muddy. And that's what happened. We had to put boards down and all kinds of stuff. And it was pretty crazy. So we're gonna put it on the rocks over there on some wood underneath the legs and get that all ready with wood, the stove, uh, whatever we can get ready now, which basically that's about it. And then we will be ready for next spring to do sapping because we're going to do that. We've got a bunch of maple trees out here and we usually create a path with snowshoes or just put our boots on. It depends on how deep it is. And we'll make a path out through here and uh, we just do that path. We do about, I think last year it was, or not last year, the year before. We didn't do any last year because 
we were we still had plenty of syrup so um, the year before we did about 10 trees we tapped 10 trees and got quite a bit uh, shoot I can't remember how much my brain slipping but um, yeah so we're starting to get our view you can kind of see the mountain in behind that'll be really nice uh, to see so um, but yeah so hopefully it looks like the eagles have gone somewhere else they'll probably be back though so I mentioned we got all of our wood in uh, we had three piles here a cord each and we did about almost a whole cord ourselves and then our son and daughter-in-law came over and helped us get the rest of it done with the four of us oh my word it took I mean, such a small amount of time. Like, I don't even know. Um, it was about an hour, maybe. Maybe less than an hour. I don't know. It went really quickly. It was so easy to do with the four of us. And now all I need to do is pick up all the little pieces here. All these little chunks that are on the ground. Uh, and we use that for kindling to start the fires. And that usually will get us through quite a, way, quite a ways into... Um, the winter but right now they're really wet because it has been raining um, so we're going to hopefully get that Sun over here and dry that up and maybe later today or if it stays dry tomorrow um, I can come out and pick this stuff up I usually use feed bags and last year we had like four feed bags full I don't think this year we'll have that many but um, we didn't get as much firewood this year as we did last because we still had quite a bit left. So, firewood shed, both sides full. Like I said, we had a little bit left over, about two and a half buckets that we put right on the deck because we filled up our wood box inside. And um, we will, um, I'm sure we'll use it up fairly soon. Being 33 degrees this morning, we had the stove on last night, but I didn't let it, I didn't fill it. I didn't um, keep it going because it's pretty warm, but I will later, I'm sure, because it's not going to get very warm. That sun does not have much power this time of year as far as warming things up, but it is charging up our panels. We are getting pretty good power. I still haven't used my boxes on my garden yet I need to do that um, again it's been raining we've had company uh, we've had all kinds of stuff going on so um, I need to do that I have my plastic out to wrap around my little coop now again they don't sleep in that that's not like they're where they have to be um, at night but during the day they love going in there and just hanging out. Um, it gives them a nice warm spot. It stays really warm when I wrap it up. They really like that. So we've got a little bit of work to do with it. Um, but we call it the summer house. But they still like it in the winter time too. So they've been working on their pumpkin decorating still. They're still fixing their, uh, you know, their creation. So... They're working on that still. They've pretty much got the inside cleaned out. Now it's just dubbing around with the outside. So yeah, we've got all the hoses cleaned up and we just need to wrap that. And I need to put the boxes on my, um, on my, my beds. So I do need to do that, but, um, I gotta find time. So, well, there goes that eagle up there, one of them. He's down fairly low. He's looking for those chickens. He's going somewhere, though. He's on a mission. He must have got a memo or a phone call that something was going on. I don't know if you can see it, but the moon is right there. We just got over a full moon, and it has been freaking crazy in Maine lately. So... There's some crows flying. Yep. Flying around. 
I haven't seen those other two eagles, but yeah, those guys. Oh, no, right there. Look how low he is. They know the chickens are right there. That's kind of why I'm hanging out here, because I figure they're going to try it. They're going to try it, so I'm out here. But there's those birds. I'm wondering if they're running them off. So I'm hoping me being out here is helping. Because they're getting bolder and lower. And those eagles are big birds. When we first moved here, somebody had dumped a deer hide down across the street in the woods. Um, and it was kind of close to the road. And when we drove down at the end of the driveway, we saw a bunch of birds down there and they were big. And one of them was an eagle. And that thing was huge. You don't realize how big they are until you're like right up close to them. And it wasn't far away, so. pretty wild. I was like, what the heck have we got ourselves into? You move out in the woods and you get all kinds of crazy stuff that happens. But it's better than being in the city right now, I'll tell you what. This is some crazy stuff going on. Our thoughts and prayers go out to everybody that has been affected uh, by the senseless act of just stupidity down in Lewiston, Maine. Uh, we didn't know anybody personally, but we know of, you know, we know a friend that has a friend that passed or, um, you know, I don't know, just all kinds of crazy stuff. But that's where the chickens are hiding down there in the woods. And that's a good spot. They're kind of behind Katie's little swing set and trampoline and all that. So, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. There they are. Look at them. They are hanging out and they've got the white head, the white tail, and they don't care that I'm here. They don't care. They keep coming lower and lower. Oh, that's might be, I think that's an eagle too, but it's not the white head and tail. Good Lord, they went and picked up more. But yeah, this guy's just hanging out, going lower and lower. I'm gonna have to make some noise and get these guys out of here. But look at that, that guy's huge, huge. Oh, and there's some little birds getting after the eagle. I don't know if it's a juvenile. Oh yeah, they went and got friends. Son of a gun, that's not good. Now there's five of them. I've been taking my black jacket and swinging it around my head. And I got the, like this, and I got my shadow going, and they're not phased at all. <laughs> oh, those things. What a bunch of stinkers. They went and got a friend. Those are all eagles. One of them does not have the white tail and the white head. So I think they're either juvenile if they're like that, or it's a golden eagle maybe, or I'm not really sure what the, what it is. I mean, who knows? But those are definitely all eagles. And they are not phased by me flapping my jacket at all. And they're still flying. The chickens are right there. They know they are, and they're flying right over. I've got work to do. I can't be out here this all day. <laughs> this could be an all-day thing. Oh my gosh. Well, it looks like they may be headed out. But that's what I thought about 15 minutes ago when they came back. Ugh. Hopefully you guys can see them. I mean, they're huge. That one right there, you can really see it good. Yeah, beautiful day, but lots of predators. So yeah, they're headed out. They're gonna go find somewhere else to get some food, I hope. Don't come back now. Yeah, hopefully they're gone. But if they know the chickens are here, 
they'll just keep on keeping on because they're hungry. So here's the chickens. They found a really good little cozy spot under here, a bunch of leaves and stuff. So they have a good little spot to hunker down, dig for worms, whatever they're digging for. And so they're hiding out there, but eventually these leaves will be gone. And I don't know, those hawks or eagles seem pretty hungry, but hopefully they're gone for now. So I can go get some work done. You guys stay undercover. Watch out for bad guys. I say this every day. Right? Yep. Look at poor Sally. Look at her. No tail feathers. Her neck feathers are coming in. But, Sally, what happened to your neck? You look like a naked neck. Look at you. Skinny little neck. And no tail. No tail. Okay, I need you guys to witness this. This is, we call her Nosy Rosie because she likes to help with the firewood and like get in the knife. It needs every, oh, she got it. You found it already. There was a worm under there and I covered it up so she wouldn't see it. And she found it. Let's see. I'm just picking up kindling. And she is over here scoping it out. And I found a worm. And I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna uncover it with you guys watching. I hopefully, I caught that on camera because she guzzles those things right up. That and salamanders and anything she can find. What do you see? Look at her, she's on alert now. What, are you posing for the camera? What are you doing? She said, that's me, nosy Rosie. She is hilarious with firewood. You pick up a stick and she's right underneath it looking to see if there's something to eat. Rosie. Nosy Rosie. Are you finding stuff? You're crazy. You're a crazy chicken. She's a lot of fun though when you're out doing stuff. She likes to hang out with you and get all the bugs. Rosie. No, we're not. We've already gone through that. We've already gone through that. That's going in the bucket to be thrown out. Stop undoing my work. Dang it, Rosie. Look at this girl. Rosie, stop undoing my work. Rosie. Hey. It goes in the bucket. Come on now, be in a pain. Rosie. Rosie, you've eaten all the bugs out of that, honestly. You've gotten them all. Poop. Guys, the snow has arrived. I don't know if I can take it. <laughs> this is just too much. Look at it. It's piling up faster than we can even take care of it. It's ridiculous. Look at it, all over the tractor. Oh my gosh. I don't know. 
I don't think I can deal with this another year. Ugh. It's too much. Too much already. We've lost a lot of trees and now we're getting our winter winter view of the mountain all the way around as far as we can see. So that's good. I mean, it's not, but at least we have something pretty to look at. The sunsets are really beautiful right over there. We got the, uh, showed you a little bit of that. We got the stove ready for next spring. We're planning on doing some maple syrup in. We don't have much left, so we have enough to get us through the winter because we don't eat it a lot. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do some trees over on our property in that area. Uh, so that ought to be good. <laughs>